Hey guys, Heidi Easley here, and I teach women how to make money teaching paint parties online, virtually, and in person. Um, but I wanted to share with y'all um, Starry Night details, so I'm going to be doing a free um, Starry Night on Monday. So I want to give y'all the details, what to expect, um, where to be, when, why, all of that stuff, okay? So go ahead and say hi. Tell me where you're from when you log on. Um, and then I'm going to show you some of Pixie Starry Nights as well as some of my other Starry Nights because um, I have taught this painting, I mean, when I say to thousands of people, I literally mean thousands of people. Hey guys, hey Julie, hey guys, y'all go ahead and say hi when you get on. Um, and I'm going to just kind of tell you who it's for and why. So this is for, it's going to be on Monday at 1 p.m. Central. So basically anybody, it can be your family, your kids, whoever. You don't even have to have paint to do this, okay? So you can draw it with pencil, you can um, draw it with a marker, you can paint it with me if you want. Um, oh, hey Kay and Destin, yay! And we have Steve, Uncle Steve's on, hello, hello. Um, but I'm gonna show you some of the starry nights I've done in the past. Um, but like I said, I was a school teacher for um, 10 years, and so every year I thought it was important to have the kids paint starry night because I wanted them to see that you can add your own touch to it. So um, so what I'm gonna do on Monday is I want everybody to meet back here at 1 p.m. Central, and if you have a canvas, that's wonderful. If you don't, and you just wanna do it on paper or poster board or um, a piece of wood, or maybe you've been wanting to paint your wall, and you wanna paint your wall, I mean, I don't, I don't care wherever you wanna do this, um, but I do encourage you, come Blue wants to be, can y'all see Blue? He wants to be in the Facebook Live. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's in Starry Night. He's got a backdrop of Starry Night. Wouldn't that be like a great little, he's like doing his own video. Blue, hey Blue, are you doing the video? Are you gonna talk about Starry Night? <laughs> Blue's, the, Blue's the backdrop for Starry Night. Blue has his own backdrop. That is amazingly awesome. He's so cute. Pixie's holding up like a little cracker up here. You're not supposed to tell them that. Um, <laughs> okay, so um, I wanted to tell you, you can have, you don't have to technically have paint. You don't have to technically have, I mean, you could use a piece of cardboard. So I know some of y'all have supplies, some of you don't. I'm going to be using a giant canvas and teaching it big. So if you do have a giant canvas, I highly recommend you grab that. Or I know Lowe's and Home Depot are open depending on where you're at, some of y'all are allowed to go out, some of y'all, we just got um, shelter in place last night, so um, it may be a little bit of an emergency to go get some wood, I don't know. <laughs> um, so, um, so if you wanna get a piece of wood, you can, but I'm telling you, make sure, oh, I need to not cover blue, he's like the star of the show. Um, I want you to make sure that you join us, get your whole family involved, and I'm gonna show you kind of through the years. Um, Pixie is right here, do you wanna show him yours? Sure. And you can tell them the dates too. So Pixie's been to so many of my paint parties. And um, care if I don't want that to fall out of its frame. And um, Pixie's been to so many of my paint parties, and these are just a few of the ones she's done. So this is one of them. This was 2016, so that would mean that I was in fifth grade. Fifth grade. So what I like to encourage is to like be creative. So we've had people add. I mean, I'm. I don't know if Van Gogh would appreciate that, but we, <laughs> but we've had people add all kinds of fun stuff. So, what year was this one? This one was 2014. So I was in third grade. It's upside down. I was in third grade. <laughs> so third grade. So if you're like, hey, you know, I have a five-year-old and I want them to do something. Not that it was five, I was but eight. <laughs> I know, but I've taught five-year-olds to do this. So I would teach kinder through. 12th grade, and even at my paint party. So anybody can do this. This one was, it does not have a date. But by the looks of this creativity, it looks like I did it in art class. So I'm guessing around fourth grade, so maybe 2015. Yeah, so maybe 2015. And as a mom, I cannot get rid of Pixie Starry mm -hmm. Nights. Like, I just love them so much. So and um, these were some... Yeah, these I did are some of those. Maybe? No. You no. might have done. No, I think I did this one too. Yeah, I didn't do any of these. 
Okay, good back. Yeah. So Pixie has done her show and tell. <laughs> so I want you to get your whole family involved. Like I said, it doesn't have to be the exact colors. Um, and then these are just some that I've done in the past, just teaching. Um, again, just showing you that you can get creative with it and do different colors. It doesn't have to be the exact. Um, and this is a total free event. So I'm going to be doing this for free just to kind of share with y'all how to do um, Starry Night because I feel like a lot of people right now just um, want to maybe challenge themselves, want to try something new. And then also I wanted to share with y'all, and I'll answer any questions you have about this event coming up on Monday. And um, I want <laughs> Blue. Blue is in it to win it today, isn't he? Oh, you want to show him? We love Starry Night in our house. This is my guitar. It's time. I never actually learned how to play. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. She said, I never actually learned how to play. But we, we really wanted her to. Yeah. yeah. I know how to do this. Yes. Ta da! Superstar. Except I wasn't doing it. <laughs> um, maybe she has time to learn how to play. So, um, but also if you want to learn any, like if you want to learn how to do, um, <laughs> Blue, Blue's over there grooming. Um, if you want to also learn, I know a lot of people watching um, are doing business stuff and they want to learn how to do a Facebook Live. I do have a free training right now. All you have to do is go to learnfacebooklive.com. So learnfacebooklive.com. And it's going to give you a free training on how um, how to do a Facebook Live behind the scenes. So I know a lot of y'all that are doing creative stuff like that, you want to um, do, um, you know, you want to share your art too. And so if you want to learn how to do that, go to learnfacebooklive.com and then um, I'll teach you how. Okay, so um, <laughs> they said ta-da. I can't wait. So yes, yeah, so the class, the free class is Monday on Texas Art and Soul at 1 p.m. Central. So I'm going to teach you exactly step by step. You don't need a tracer. I'm going to teach you exact. So it can be for your kids. Your whole family can do it. Again, it's a totally free event. Um, and I'm going to teach you. Oh, oh. We're a mess in this art studio. It is, it is a disaster. We're tripping over, we're tripping over cords, all of that. Um, Jackie says she seems like a sweet kid and beautiful. Oh, thank you, Jackie. She is a sweet kid. You're a good one. I'm helping you lose some weight. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear what she just said? <laughs> Tell me what you just said. I'm helping her lose some weight. After this, we're doing a workout that I made. My face is really shiny. Yeah, it's the ring lights. we got to back those things up. So, yeah, she's saying I'm helping you lose weight. That's every mom's dream, right? We just want to hear those words. <laughs> No, here's what's happening. Since we've been quarantined. She's being healthier. I am starting, you know, I don't wear real pants that much anymore. And now my pants are getting real tight, real fast. So Pixie has been creating some workouts. Why is it doing that to you? Move that one. Oh, it's because of your black shirt. I don't think so. Just turn it that way. No, the other way. Like towards that way. There we go. We got some crazy stuff happening. And um, yeah, I'm going to teach you an acrylic, but I'm probably going to have a, um, yeah, that's, oh darn it. <laughs> it's your black shirt. Okay. So, so, so back up. Whenever I wear like all black, the light does something weird. And now we're like weird or weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, um, this is going to be, um, on acrylic. I'm going to teach you acrylic. And then also I'll probably show um, a drawing way as well. So you can use it just with pencils, markers, Sharpies, as well as um, paint. So I'm going to teach it both ways. I might, if Pixie's up for it, you might want to do the, if you don't have class at one. Today? Monday. Monday. One central. I have one thirty. She might be able to join us for a little bit. So, stupid dryer shrinks everything, right? <laughs> Kelly says, yoga pants forever. I know. I had to put on, like, real pants today. I have yoga and pants I was like, on. I was My like, only pair. Starting to, get, starting to get a little tighter. So, Pixie's like, I'm going to do workouts with you. I'm like, oh. It's like, <laughs> it's going to be fun. Um, okay, any questions about the, oh, what was the site again? So, if you want to learn Facebook Lives, do learnfacebooklive.com. 
learnfacebooklive.com and you can um, get a free training instantly from me that teaches you how to do a Facebook Live, kind of a behind the scenes. So you see kind of how I get ready and prepped so that when you see this side, you see the behind the scenes of what happened before. And um, Helen wants to know how our studio is coming along. Okay, so y'all know we are disasters. It's a lot better. It is a lot better. I'm going to show y'all. Um, it is a lot better. So we ordered these. Um, you're going to see the ring lights, so it probably won't be as bright on here. But we ordered um, these cabinets from Nebraska Furniture Mart. And so they got here right before everything started to um, go crazy in the world. So let's see. Let me show y'all. So, actually, it's been a lot better. So, usually, this is all on the floor as well. So, you can see our floor, like we paint on it. There's just paint everywhere. Pixie did a, um, a paint pour <laughs> and ended up leaving part of the paint pour. And so, very, very thankful for these because when you go into these, like we have all of our, we're still trying to, you know, during this time, we've definitely had time to, like, try to organize. So, this... I have the lids for these, but honestly, guys, I don't, um, I like to be able to grab. And so when I was putting the lids on here, I felt like it was stopping me from being able to grab the colors I need. So I don't know if this is the best solution at this moment, but this is what we got going on. And then, um, so it's kind of nice because it feels cleaner feels way cleaner. And then of course, y'all know my metallics, love with my metallics. And then I'm still trying to find a solution. Oh, and for those of y'all that are doing your first Facebook lives, this was my light before, mm -hmm. before I got official lighting. This was, this was what we used, right? Pix. Yeah. It was kind of crazy, but you know, it kept falling over sometimes. Yeah, we would use this or a window, so you don't have to have ring lights at the beginning. It attached to our little cup that we put everything in. Yeah. yeah. We had a selfie stick and a toilet paper roll, anyway. Yes, we, um, yeah, you grow with your business. That's how it works. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you grow, so we didn't always have ring lights and stuff like that. So we, so I still have this lamp. Who knows? I might have to go back to it. Um, but I'm still trying to figure out how to store my stencils. So if y'all have any tips, I would love that. So if you do want to learn a little bit about, um, Facebook lives, um, Blue says go to learnfacebooklive.com. Right, Blue? He's very excited Go about this. He's very, very excited, as you can tell. Very excited. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> okay, so these were the these were the things. So, like, like I told you, I love to watch Hallmark movies while I paint. So I have a TV in my art studio. And guys, this actually, um, this stuff I'm still trying to organize. So as you can tell, there's not much there because I'm still working on it. But um, I love to try to send happy mail, even though I'm awful at it. So I put like my stamps there. Um, along with my stickers and stuff like that for Paint Party Headquarters. And then um, just like some gifts and things like that I use for door prizes for my parties. So this right here is, is making me very, very excited because it looks like it's clean, even though it, you know, cannot be because we, we have a little bit of disaster going on. Um, so yeah, it's definitely better, way better. And I, I do attribute that to the, um, to the, the coronavirus. We've had time to actually clean. <laughs> so, so much stuff. Yeah, Pixie, what all have you made? So I made the Hedgehog Mansion finally and finished it. And then I totally redid my room. I painted the walls and did all that stuff. It's really pretty. Um, I'm trying to think, what else did I do? Oh, I made a bunch of like PowerPoints and the slideshows and stuff. And then I made a poster about Hawaii and then what else have I done I've done a lot she's done a lot she's been very very creative very busy yeah I updated my Pinterest like a lot <laughs> so much stuff on it. it used to it'd be like five pins on like two boards and now I have like 20 boards and like 50 things on Pixie loves some Pinterest. Yes. <laughs> yeah, loves some Pinterest. So so just to recap, um, anybody who's wanting to learn how to do Facebook Lives, go to learnfacebooklive.com, learnfacebooklive.com. And then um, I'm going to teach you, your family, your kids, whoever wants to learn on Monday how to do their very own Starry Night painting. Again, it's going to be Monday at 1 p.m. on Texas Art and Soul. So it's totally 
um, free on this page. And um, Pixie wants to show you some cell phone covers she's also made. And then, um, and you don't have to have paint. So you can, I'm going to do it in acrylic paint, but you can do it in whatever you want. So let me know if you have any other questions and Pixie wants to show you her other so I creations. Made these two. This one's on my phone, but I had to copy it because they're really thick. I made these. Oh, sorry. The thing's backwards and it's making me. Yeah, those are cute. I told her, I said, can I use this one for a um, yeah, she's... painting? Because <laughs> she created that one. So I'm going to be creating a, a painting for a paint party based on that. I love it. Okay, so let's see. Are there any other questions? Um, how many of y'all are going to join on Monday to paint or draw it? How many of y'all want to draw it or paint it? Let me know if you're going to be joining on Monday. And then again, you don't have to have any experience at all um, to do this. So let me know if you are, just put a yes. And then also share um, share this with your friends if you think they like just need, you know, need something to do at one o'clock on, on um, Monday. It's gonna be one central and I'm just gonna do the whole thing in one shot. So it might take an hour and um, it might take an hour and a half, but I just wanna um, show you how. And I'm gonna show you how to and um, do this from, I'm gonna actually show you how to do it just from a, a paintbrush and paint. And then I'm also gonna show you how to do it with pencil or Sharpie if you're doing that. Um, and then also I wanna remind you, if you have your kids joining, um, these are some of my favorite things that Pixie's done. I mean, when she was little, 2016, you know, four years ago, I absolutely love this. So I'm going to be, um, you know, I keep these and I keep the one, I've given a lot of mine away um, because I've, again, like I said, I've, I've done it so many times. I have probably 20 of these, um, but there's a lot of y'all that, you know, you've done, star, maybe you've painted Starry Night, but you haven't gotten crazy, like crazy or creative with it. So I want you to, um, you know, grab your kids, grab your hubby. I mean, you know, we just got put shelter in place and me and Bobby, we were at the grocery store last night because we were finally like getting close to being out of toilet paper. And so we heard that there was some toilet paper at the grocery store. So we went last night, like at 930 and, um, and we were walking around in the store and we were like, oh my gosh, we've been married 22 years and this will be like the most time we've ever spent together. So, um, so please say a prayer for us. <laughs> this will be the true test if our marriage, marriage can hold true. Um, so I think sometimes we just need a break and maybe this is something fun that you and your family can do something fun that, um, you know, you, maybe you and your neighborhood, like, you know, have them all tune in and then y'all can share y'all's designs and how they turned out. Um, my, my stepdad a long time ago, he did, um, well, father-in-law, stepdad, whatever, however you want to call him. He did, um, I was teaching Starry Night at a paint party and they came to support me and he did, um, like a, a wolf howling at the moon or something like that. So, and I think he put a McDonald's in it. So you can be as creative and crafty as you want. And then I would love to see once you finish them, how they look. And I would love to put them all together like in an iMovie. And then I can share it with y'all and y'all can see kind of like a starry night parade where we can see everybody's designs together. I think that would be so much fun to see how creative y'all get. So anyway, this will be, um, yeah, definitely. This is something, you know, <laughs> yeah, Julie says, I think it's probably true of all married couples. I know, I'm like, we're gonna have to have like some timeouts where like, okay, you go to your space, <laughs> I go to my space. Like I'm used to, I'm used to like Pixie going to school, Bobby going to work and, I do my business and I create. So this is this is a new challenge for me because I'm not used to everybody, like I'm used to this being my space, you know, and, and now I'm having to share it a lot. So I'm growing and learning too. Um, let's see, any questions before I let you go? Um, let's see, Angie says, Heidi Easley, what was the link again for Facebook Lives? I sent it to a friend and she says the link doesn't work. Um, let me put it in here and see if it works. It should be, what did I do? Learn... Facebook live, not lives, but learn Facebook live.com. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it to learn Facebook live.com. Let me see if it, okay. So try to do that. And then when I get off of here, I'll double check that it's working, but, it, and I pinned it to the top of the comments. So it's called learn Facebook live.com. And you'll see behind the scenes of kind of how, I set up what I do, all of that stuff. So if you're doing paint parties or you're trying to do virtual paint parties, all of that, you can see it behind the scenes. Um, 
Oh, good. I'm glad y'all found me. Um, let's see. I'm lucky my hubby goes to the barn down the hill away from me, both retired, but both still alive. <laughs> yeah, I know. Those people that are like retired, like I think of my parents, they're retired and and um, <laughs> and they're all they're always together. And I'm like, I don't know if me and Bobby could ever do that. And now we're kind of forced. And so I'm kind of, you know, wondering if this is going <laughs> to, how this is going to be over the next few weeks. Um, let's see, the link coming to this live didn't work from the text. I just went to the page. Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. So people are saying it works. Okay, so it's learnfacebooklive.com. And don't put an S on it. So all together, learnfacebooklive.com. And so Monday, I'm very, very excited to teach you this. Again, this is one of my absolute favorite paintings of all times. Um, when I was an art teacher, every single year we did something. One year, we made the entire Starry Night out of bottle caps. And so we created this massive mural when I worked in Frisco. I was an art teacher there for a few years. And um, we created this massive bottle cap. So for months we were saving bottle caps and we were, it was, it's kind of a disaster because we had to rinse the bottle caps and then we put them in buckets per, like based on color. So we had a bucket with blue bottle caps. We had, so like my front of my art room had all of these buckets. And then, um, oh, and real quick before I finish the bucket story, um, if you made a comment right now, you're probably getting an automated thing from a like a robot, like a Facebook robot that says, do you want to be notified when I go live? Um, or do you wanna give me your phone number so that I can notify you when I go live? If you do, because I'll do a, a blast out on um, Monday before I start this, if you wanna get a text message from me, make sure you put it in exactly as it's asking. So it's like a plus, and then the one, and then your phone number. So you have to put it in exactly as it's asking, and if you do that, then it's going to set you up to where whenever I send out those messages, it'll go to you as well. Um, okay, so um, so yeah, so the bucket was really cool because we all put the we all put the little things in the bucket, and then I had the kids. It was a K through fifth school, and I had the whole um, the whole elementary doing this. We hot glued them to like, I kind of like drew the basic of Starry Night and then they hot glued all of these bottle caps to this mural that was placed on a huge piece of plywood. So it was the size of a plywood and then we bottle capped all of these colors onto this thing and it was so, so cool. The kids loved it. So, um, so those of you that have like a five-year-old or a six-year-old, have them do this on Monday because there is nothing cuter than a little kid's starry night. Like nothing is cuter than that. And then also I want you to try it because you'll be surprised. Like whenever I break this down for you, you're gonna be surprised that you can really do it. So I want you to, to tune in on um, Monday at 1 p.m. Central. If you don't have paints, if you don't have canvas, it's okay. You can do it however you wanna do it. Um, pencil, crayons, um, markers, Sharpies, however you wanna do it. Um, let's see, um, Pam says, what if we already get text messages? Do we need to do it again? No, if you're already getting them, um, you don't have to do it again. You only have to do it once just because like I just sent a text message right before I went live now. And so, um, so several hundred of y'all got that. So if you aren't getting those, that's how you can get them. So you just leave a comment and then follow what it says. Um, let's see, Gina says, I have done this with my adaptive class. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and um, did you do the bottle caps? to Gina, that's awesome. And um, let's see, Dee says, do you know where to look up the picture to see all the pictures that are in it? Oh, when I do the, um, the like parade, is that what you're talking about? If so, what I'll do is I'll have, on Monday, I'll talk about where you can send me those pictures. What, honestly, what I'll probably do that'll be the easiest is after I teach the class to y'all on Monday, again, virtual, any size canvas, Marie, any size canvas. I'm gonna use a big canvas, but you can do any size. Um, and you can do poster board, a piece of cardboard, whatever. But what I'll do is after I teach the class, I'm gonna say, um, post your picture below your painting. So you'll just take a picture of your starry night. And if you want to be in the picture, like have somebody take your picture, or you can do the timer on your phone, three second, and then look back and go, you know, if you want to be in the picture and then post that picture below the, um, 
the video and then from that i'm going to take those and i'll put them into like a starry night parade so what that means is that everybody who did this will combine it into an iMovie and, and then i'll post that video on texas art and soul and everybody can kind of see the different creativity so my challenge to you is when you do this and when your kids do this or your husband does this or whatever my challenge to you is to not just do it the basic way my challenge is to think about colors to think about you know ways you can make it different and ways you can make you know this is done with some neon colors so if i put a black light under this it'll shine and um, this is done obviously with some neon colors again you know i've painted this so many times sometimes you just don't want to paint it with the, the normal colors and then also um glitter so if you have glitter this is one of pixies you can see the glitter shining she went glitter crazy and so think about that, how you could create this. Like the cypress tree doesn't have to be a cypress tree. Like you could be as creative as you want and you could make this into a building or make this into, you know, if you're in Texas, a Texas scene. Maybe it's a windmill and then you have the, the hills and maybe you're adding something else, you know, the skyline of Dallas. I mean, that's the thing about art is you can be as creative as you want. And I'm going to talk about those things too. Um, let's see, did you finish the guitar? No, so I'm hopefully, so I am so, so excited about this guitar because I'm turning it into, let me show y'all. I'm turning this into a, um, like a poster, like a music, you know, if he was gonna have a concert, I'm turning it into like a concert poster um, for hippies and the cowboys. And so for those of y'all that were watching the other day, um, I'm still working on this. So this is just the back layer of it. Um, a lot of times people don't want to show just the, the, um, the first, oh, sorry, that light is being weird. Um, a lot of times people don't want to see, like, you know, they, they, like y'all probably want to see the process, but, um, we have a big rule in our house that you're not allowed to judge my artwork or anything I'm working on until I have asked for your opinion. <laughs> So, um, so this is in the very, very beginning stages, and then I'm going to turn it into a really cool, like, um, music, like, almost like a festival flyer for, um, Cody Jinks, like, Hippies and the Cowboys, and it's one of my favorite songs, so if you've never heard it, and um, you'll probably be like, what is Heidi listening to? But I love some Red Dirt Country. Does anybody love Red Dirt Country? It's one of my favorites, so I'm going to be turning that into that, um, so that's still in progress, um, I'm just really excited. It's just a project I just wanted to do, so... The other day I talked about it and painted live a little bit about it. Um, okay, so yes, Jackie, the guitar is still in the works. I will be finishing it. Oh, and we got Chrissy Canna on. Hello, Kelly. Hey, guys. Okay, yes, Helen says, no criticism until I finish and ask. Yeah, um, here's the thing, even about your Starry Night. So all the paintings, they don't start coming together until the end. That's just how painting works. Like you can't put a brush stroke and all of a sudden it's like, voila, we know what we're doing. So like this painting, I have a vision in my head of what I want this to look like. Nobody watching right now has that vision of what the end result is looking like, right? Like I know what I want it to look like, but it's in the process. So years ago, I was working on a project and I don't know if it was Pixie or Bobby or something, but one of them came by and you know how when you get really, really, really excited for, um, for something, like let's say you're gonna work, like I have this really cool idea for this Alice in Wonderland, um, huge piece of plywood. I'm, maybe I'll work on that next week because it's like a project I've been wanting to do for months. And I wanna actually, I'm gonna put it on our outside porch. So it's gonna be an outdoor and it's gonna be something like we're all mad here or it's gonna say, um, it's gonna say that, um, you know, before I, think of, you know, six impossible things before breakfast, you know, cause me and Pixie, like when she would go to school, a lot of times we would have like our little Jesus calling thing or whatever. And we would sit and talk, but we would like, we're big dreamers. And so we would talk about just crazy, like off the wall stuff. And it, it makes me think of that movie, Alice in Wonderland, you know, six impossible things before breakfast. Right. Cause we're talking about like all of these crazy things, you know, it hadn't even started, you know, it hadn't even, the day hadn't even started and we're already out in Wonderland thinking of things. And so, um, so I love living in that world. Like I love um, having that feeling of I can create anything. Well, what happens is like we get this vision of what we want to create. Like I'm so excited about this, this movie poster thing, right? Um, on canvas. Well, one day I was working on something and I had like, 
you know, something in my head I wanted to create and it's a process, right? And um, so I think Pixie or Bobby walked by, it was years ago, I don't remember when, because this rule has been in our house for a while. And they said something like, what are you doing? And it just like knocked this the wind out of my sails. Like something that I was so excited about and so passionate about and know it's going to take time because anything worth doing takes time, right? And I had this whole vision in my head and then all it took was for one person to walk by and say something that just... And they didn't even mean it. They were just walking by and just casually said something. But what it did was it took all that exciting energy of creating Starry Night or creating this movie poster or whatever, the Alice in Wonderland thing or whatever it is, or what, I don't even remember what it was. And it just knocked the wind out of my sails. And I went from so, so excited about that project to why even do it? Like, why even try? Why, like, it sucks, you know? And then... Of course, we all have that, right, in our heads where we think things are going to be awful and we start to, to have that mental game. So what we have to do is we have to, like, tune that out um, because if we don't, and that's why I put that rule in place. I was like, here's the deal. I'm an artist. I am a creative. I am a sensitive soul. And here's the deal. If you are going to see something I'm working on, I don't even want your opinion until I have asked for it. And so, um, and so that's a new rule. So, you know, I don't get feedback on my art at all unless I say, hey, what do you think? And I'll ask Bobby or I'll ask Pixie because they're really quick to give me the, the truth. They're really fast to tell me mm, that's not going to work or something like that. But it's, it's a new rule. So if you're in that place where you want to create but you're scared, maybe have that rule. Like, hey, I'm going to try something new. I'm going to do this Starry Night with Heidi on Monday. But I'm scared that I'm going to jack it up. And I'm scared that it's going to suck when I'm done with it. But I still want to try. And so if you have that rule of, hey, I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be watching Heidi live on this. And we're going to walk through it together. But please just don't, you know, just let me make mistakes, you know, or go in a room where they're not watching you make the mistakes because I guarantee you, you will make mistakes. And um, there's a, I'll show you one of my bad paintings I just did. Y'all want to see a grumpy rabbit, a grumpy rabbit I was trying to create. Instead of grumpy cat, I created a, a grumpy rabbit. So I was practicing some stuff the other day. And again, you have to allow yourself you know, chances to make mistakes. So this is a painting that's not what I want it to be, but I'm working on it. Um, I'm actually gonna make the flowers way, or the butterflies way bigger. I was missing Christmas, so I painted Christmas. Yes, last week. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm gonna do a really cute rabbit. It sucks. I did a grumpy rabbit and I hate it. I do not like it at all, but I wanted to try it. So there's things where um, you're going to do stuff that you're like not so proud of, um, but you're not going to learn. You notice how I get that out of the view real quick because <laughs> I'm not proud of it, right? Um, but I, I know it's not good. I don't love it, and but it's okay. Like you're going to make mistakes, um, but you're not going to get better unless you keep practicing. Okay, um, Amy says, what size canvas do you recommend for Monday? Any size. I'm going to be using a pretty big canvas, at least the 16 by 20 for me. Um, I'm probably going to actually do a bigger one and have the video a little bit further out and paint it right here. Um, but um, you can do any size, um, any size you want. You can do a small canvas you know, like this. You can do um, a piece of paper. You can do poster board. You know, some of y'all that you might be able to go to the grocery store, but you can't go somewhere else. You could go get a poster board and do something like that. Um, let's see. Don't forget to put a treble clef and music notes on your guitar. Oh, thank you, Carrie. And um, yeah, it's going to have some fun flowers and stuff too. Carla says, I love Alice in Wonderland. I do too. I do too. Oh, thank you, Kelly. That is so, so sweet. Um, maybe you could tell her that from time to time now that she's a teenager. <laughs> maybe, maybe we get the, the, um, the teenage version. <laughs> Helen says, our world can change from day to day. That's why you should live one day at a time. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And now more than ever, that has been very, um, very present in my life. You know, I think this past two weeks has really shown me that God is the ultimate provider. You know, so many times we get in this 
this fast paced cycle of, you know, we got this, we got this, we got this. Like it's so, so easy to have faith when things are comfortable. Um, let's see. Francine says, I did, I did that when I was painting ceramics all the time. I painted a lot of angels. The thing is it is layer upon layer and building the project. Yeah, definitely. This, this is that way too. Um, I would have to step back and assess or give myself a day break to get fresh perspective of where I was in the middle of the project and compare to where I wanted it to be in the end. I mean, you don't put up the steeple on a church building until the cornerstone walls and roof are there. Yes, so true. And I think with art, we just automatically think, it's got to be perfect right away. No, it's a process. Um, it's a process. And what I'm hoping y'all are going to see on Monday is that I'm taking something that one of the masters has done and I'm going to break it down step by step. And the reason I feel so confident that you can do this is like I said, I have taught this to thousands of people. You know, I was a, a school teacher for 10 years and, and in those 10 years, I taught at schools that had 850 kids a week that I saw. So it was a cattle call. They were, you, you know, school teachers, especially art teachers, you know exactly what I'm talking about. And um, so, you know, 850 kids, if I'm teaching Starry Night, right there's almost a thousand kids that I taught it to. And I did that year after year after year, in addition to teaching it to um, people at my paint parties. And so what I discovered through there was people have a ton of creativity because I would teach them the way I'm going to teach you on Monday, how to get creative and not just make it the basic. Of course, you can make it, you know, not basic. Van Gogh is not basic, but you know what I mean? just the normal or you can get creative and, and start thinking about that so i want you to start thinking about that over the weekend and um, what colors you want to use and um, do you want to make different landmarks do you want to turn it into um like we had kids that would turn it into an amusement park which i thought was so fun because i'm a huge um roller coaster junkie so um so we would have kids turn it into stuff like that so i want you to think about that um I want you to think about like how you want to do it. And the reason I'm teaching you this one is because some of y'all have been like on the fence about should I teach paint parties? Should I teach virtual paint parties? All of those things. And then you do something like this and you realize that you can do it and it just gives you that confidence. Well, if I can paint Starry Night, I mean, I can paint a grumpy bunny, right? <laughs> Which I don't advise, I don't like that painting. Or, you know, if I can paint Starry Night, I could paint this, you know? Like, look at that, look at the difference, right? I mean, it's a total, total difference. So it just gives you that boost of confidence. Like, if I could do that, I could do this. Um, Kay says, happens in my house all the time. It happened two days ago. Kay, you need to put a rule in place. We have a firm rule. Um, <laughs> that's what quarantine does to our bunny. <laughs> yeah, our bunny is a grumpy bunny. Um, yes, do you ever paint over and do something else all the time? So um, this grumpy bunny um, will pretty much, if I don't use it as a teaching moment, will be painted over with something else, especially if I run out of canvas. Um, Helen, can we use mixed media? Yes, okay, so talk amongst yourselves because I have a mixed media starry night I wanna show you. I actually broke it, but I can still show you what it was. So yes, you can do mixed media. All right, I'll be right back. years ago this is like with a putty it's like a um a 3d paste but when i grabbed it it broke off because the pa it's like a a paste you can use to make texture but it, it glues down so most of this you can see is glued down but then it it starts to come off after time especially if you drop it like i did so this is just a little piece of wood I got and then I ended up creating it into 3D. So yeah, you could use, um, you could even do um, mixed media like with um, papers, you know, little scraps of paper, stuff like that. Um, yeah, yeah, Carrie, it is kind of like a pilgrim animal. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh yeah, like an um, iPad, mixed media. Oh, mixed media, like a paper, yes. You can, like watercolor paper, something like, yes, you can totally do that. 
Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Mandy, for sharing. So sweet. Um, all right, guys, I am going to make sure you are. And lastly, remember, if you want to learn how to do, if you're interested in trying to teach online, do a Facebook Live, stuff like that, go to learnfacebooklive.com. Learnfacebooklive.com, and it's a free video. You'll get instant access for me teaching you how to do kind of the behind the scenes. You'll see what I do before I push live. And um, let's see. Okay, make sure there's no more questions. Um, let me see. Mariella says, I saw, hello, Mariella. I saw someone in the group making painting kits for kids. Do you know how they are selling them? Do they post in the Facebook and take orders or is that way for that or way or how much? And Mariella, we have so, okay. So in Paint Party Headquarters, go ahead and post that question. Um, and we just did, I'm about to post the replay of the meeting. We did a two and a half hour meeting this morning um, on how to do those. And so, yes, there's so, so much information in Paint Party Headquarters for that on how to sell kits and do the virtual painting. So yeah, go ahead and check um, check the meeting out. And then if you don't have time to watch the two and a half hour meeting, because I know there was a there was a lot of great, great tips and tricks in there, and um, just post that question in Paint Party Headquarters and we'll definitely answer that for you. Um, let's see, Gina says, yes, I miss my kids right now. You were helping me through this time keeping art in my life. Oh, Gina, that's so cool. Yeah, um, definitely like, don't spend this time, the next two, three, whatever, however many weeks we're supposed to be, like, um, you know, staying at home. Like, take this time to create, to make stuff. I mean, you know, like Pixie, she redid her room already. I've already cleaned out my closet. Like, stuff that would have never gotten done. And think about stuff like that so that you can, um, so that you can make use of this time. Like, I don't want to look back. Um, you know, because this is going to pass. And we're all going to be back to 100 miles an hour, right? And um, so I don't want to look back on this time and be like, you know, yeah, I am watching a few Netflix. I'm not going to lie, but I'm not going to look back and go the whole time. I just literally like just gave up, you know, cause this will pass. Um, and I want y'all to, um, create like, what can you create during this time? I am really excited. I feel like I really need to go to Lowe's and get that piece of plywood so I can work on my Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I'm re-inspired to work on my Alice in Wonderland. And um, let's see if you would like it to be very similar to original. Is there a color list? Um, Karen, let me see. I could probably put together a color list, but the main thing is, is lots of blues. Blues, yellows, golds, grays, just very, very muted. Um, with those, and then some yellows. I, I like to keep mine, and um, there's some browns and some coppers. Um, but yeah, maybe I'll try to get a, together a color list if you're interested in that. Um, let's see. Yay, Carla said her kids are excited to paint. Oh my gosh. Mary says, leave Grumpy Bunny alone. <laughs> How about painting on wood? Is it using more paint? Um, I paint on wood all the time, and I love, love, love to paint on wood. So I recommend if you have a piece of wood, like um, we have this scrap piece that's been used for, for pretty much for like, so this side looks good, but this side is a disaster. So you can tell we've put some stuff on here. Um, to be totally honest, I think Blue marked it and claimed it as his own. So there's probably some blue pee on there, which probably need to wash my hands now. Um, so yeah, we, we have, you know, spare pieces of wood. I would definitely, I mean, and yeah, it might use a little more, more paint depending on if it's been sanded or not but it's really, really fun to paint on wood. So when I do my big pieces of plywood, so I don't know if y'all have ever seen this, if y'all are new. Um, so there's my kitchen. So this was, a, um, this was a big design I did a few years back. Aw, Blue's completely asleep. Pixie texted me. So when I went to Junk Gypsy to their, um, I have clear lights to put up. Bobby's gonna put some clear lights up. But when we went to Junk Gypsy, there was a painting that was similar to this that said HB, but it was already sold. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I could probably do this myself and make my version. So what I did was I took a huge, I mean, this is a, a, a like a giant piece of plywood. And then I just basically, me and Pixie took, um, tons of blue paint and we just squirted it straight out of the bottle and don't look at my dining room table because it's a mess but you can see how big it is so it's like the 
Like in my kitchen, it's like the entire thing, right? So we took a, um, we took a giant, you know, lots of blues, and then I just had a blast. So my, my Alice in Wonderland is going to kind of have a similar feel, but I want to put it out on my outside porch. And then um, I took my cutter and I made these huge stencils, which was really kind of difficult, but it just gave me an outline. So it would be, you know, H plus B, obviously is Heidi and Bobby. And then I just put Adventurous out there. Um, I don't love how this turned out, but it doesn't bother me enough to to fix it. So if that tells you anything, <laughs> sometimes you're just like, I finished and I'm done and I want to be done with it. Okay. So, um, oh good. Amy decorated her mailbox. Yeah. You can see my mailbox up there. I'm still working on it. It's up at the top. So I don't know if you can see it. Um, let's see. Mia says, I get a message from you to join for notifications every time I comment on a new video, even though I already joined. Not sure if that's happening to anyone else. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to turn that off here in a couple days. Um, but we had a lot of people trying to get text notifications, and they weren't getting them. And so I thought I'd just turn that on for a few days so people could get them while they're commenting on videos. And then just ignore them, Mia, and then I will um, turn those off here in a couple days. Um, let's see... Um, let's see, Monday's class is going to be at 1 p.m. And then, oh, awesome. Carrie says for her K2 class, she used bar Barber's shaving cream and glue. You can put some paint in there and change the colors. That's a great idea. Um, when I was a teacher, and this might be fun for all of y'all that have lots of kids at home. Um, when I was a teacher, it was, you know, when it was time to, dang it. Sorry, I'm trying to get my stand so I don't make it so shaky. Um shoot this is gonna make me cuss hold on okay there we go and um, when I was a teacher I would like take shaving cream from the dollar store and I would just spray it all over the tables and I would let them draw into the tables and they could draw starry night or their names or whatever they wanted and um they love it so much so yeah same thing you could put different stuff on there some paint in there as long as you have you know a tablecloth the tablecloth I have it's just a big plastic. I just buy it by the yard, you know, several yards for this table. Um, let's see. Excited, cannot wait. I'm going to use a palette. Oh, that'll be so fun. I'm so, so excited. I can't wait to see how y'all um, how y'all create it because I want to put it together in like a movie and then y'all can see all the different ones. <laughs> oh, good, Mia. Yeah, I'll turn it off here in a little bit. Okay, so just to recap this live, I am teaching you how to paint Starry Night with either paint, crayons. Sorry, Pixie, 2016 version. <laughs> and paint, crayons, and drawing. So if you don't have supplies, don't freak out. You can do it however you want. I'm going to teach you a drawing version as well as a um, painted version. And then for those of you that are wanting to get real creative, start looking at stuff that you can gather together over the next few days. I'm gonna be teaching this on this page for free at 1 p.m. Central on Monday. So Monday, if you have a break, like get all your kids together, your family, whatever, and everybody can watch it and create their own. And then on, um, then I want you to post a picture below when you finish it. And then I'm going to put those together in an iMovie and then share them so everybody can see everybody's designs, like a big community project. Um, and then those of you that are wanting to learn Facebook Lives, like let's say you are creative and you want to go live and show something you're creating, go to learnfacebooklive.com and then you can get a behind the scenes of me teaching you how to do a Facebook Live. You'll kind of see how it's done. Okay, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, I hope y'all have a great day today and I'm probably going to take a few days break from Facebook Live so I won't be on again until Monday. But if you have any people that might be interested in doing this with you on Monday, make sure you let them know. All right, guys, I um, hope y'all have a great day and I'll see you on Monday at 1 p.m. Central. All right, bye.